welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to integrate smartsheet with microsoft teams let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here on microsoft teams i want you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go integrating smartsheet with microsoft teams is a straightforward process that offers several key benefits that enhance collaboration productivity and project management now when you go to the left side panel of your dashboard you might want to click on the plus button to go to the uh now the plus icon should be the solution center but if you can't find the solution center just hover down below on the bottom left corner of your account and click on apps and integrations i want you to i want you to click on it now once you are on the app and integrations i want you to search for the microsoft teams and there's going to be a blue button that says enable smart sheet for teams when you click that you would be able to need to have an access to the microsoft teams especially if you're working for an organization make sure they will give you administrative privileges but if you do own the account you need to log in of course like this one so i can't access the uh, microsoft teams but there's a thing about microsoft teams and smartsheet that you might want to know because before you can integrate to environment you need to have a smartsheet pro business and enterprise plans okay because if i am only using the uh, free smart sheet um subscription so i don't have that access to the smart sheet to microsoft teams integration on the other hand if you're logged into a microsoft team account now as you can see i'm on the smart sheet and forwarded page to the microsoft teams and in the left side panel of your dashboard you should be able to see the teams admin center okay but if you don't have that means you must approve the uh, office 365 integration once done or if you're working for a big company or an organization you might want to consult your it if you have access issues all right because from here as you can see i can't have the option to the uh, microsoft admin team center so if you can't access the uh, smart sheet on the uh limit limitation on the subscription plan as well on the uh, admin privileges here at microsoft teams the only way for you to be able to integrate smartsheet with the microsoft team is using the platform of zapier okay so you can connect microsoft teams to smartsheet and automate your work and have all these endless possibilities all you have to do is connect these apps by clicking on this orange button just wait for it to load now, as you can see for now you need to select the event for microsoft teams for example on the trigger event you can choose it triggers when a new channel is created within a team or if you want it triggers when a member or highlight a word is mentioned in a channel it requires installation of the zapier app from the team's store or you might want to use the it triggers when a message is posted in a channel requires installation of the zapier from the team's stores or maybe you want to choose the it triggers when a two chat is created but for now i'm going to choose um it triggers when a uh, new channel is created within a team all right and of course from here you just have to log into your account and of course from here you just have to authorize these platforms okay so zapier needs your permission to maintain access to data you have given zapier access to your microsoft teams and of course just click on the accept button now after doing so click on this smart sheet because we're going to choose an event here and you have uh the three options standard actions custom actions and beta okay now on beta you can build the new action with the help of ai you can create action manage and refresh from custom actions now for the standard actions you might want to choose adds a file attachment to a row or would you like to add a row to a sheet or maybe creates a copy of the specified workspace 
or final row in this specified sheet using a query so it's up to you depending on your goals and objectives when integrating smart sheet with microsoft teams now i'm just gonna choose this one creates a workspace and on the account we have already um have the uh, smart sheet deep laughs already there's a three ellipses button in case you want to view these apps right here so you have more control all right and add a connection or just click on the my apps right here and go back to the uh zap now i'm going to rename this zap before before i save it okay and then here you have also an option to test the connection right and click on continue so that you can diagnose where the error could uh, come from your workspace names could be like uh, i'm gonna be d laugh and click on continue you can send workspace to a smart sheet and to test smart sheet we need to create a new workspace and this is what will be created data in what right now you can uh, test these steps right so as you can see you can sit back and relax because zapier will do all the work for you integrating smart sheet with microsoft teams now this will allow teams to access important project data and metrics from within teams improving accessibility and decision making because if you're working from different teams for example you have like a departments like it marketing and of course, uh, maybe um, IT department, they can now collaborate on smart sheet projects within a shared teams environment, improving cross communications. And from here, you can invite the team members that you wanted here to be part of the um, project, right? And by doing so, you can attach files, provide comments and collaborate on documents in both smart sheet and teams because you can access important project data and metrics from within the teams improving accessibility and decision making all right so of course if you haven't already you might want to create your create your build your, your community while doing so so you can leverage of the power of microsoft teams and smartsheet and of course you can always embed smartsheet dashboards into teams so that you can have real-time visibility into project status without leaving the team's environment. You can easily track assignments and projects, making it clear who is responsible for what within the team has been accomplished. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.